everyone, I'm Jinx Monsoon, coming to you from the great beyond. In my lifetime, I gave birth to a gay homosexual son, pushed him right out of my hot pocket. And now he's a grown up adult, and I sometimes talk to him because I'm legally obligated to, because I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Say yes to drag, yes ma'am to drag, it pays, it slays. Today we'll be talking about death, I'm a cool mom. It's a very serious topic. <laughs> huh. I'm Jinx Monsoon. And I'm Kamikaze Monsoon. I, um, I share this story with you not to brag, but to help you benefit from my own mistakes. I nearly died yesterday. Wait, Mom, what? I was playing my Nintendo Switch in the bath, and um, I fell asleep because Skyrim can kind of drag on yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, there's long parts where you're just walking. Yeah, just walking. Yeah. And, um, the point is, I did die for a second. And I did not like what I saw. Oh my god, did you see a tunnel of light? Because that's what everyone says. I didn't see a bright light, but I did see my life flash before my eyes. Oh. All the many, many, many mistakes I've made along the way. I realized I haven't been the best mother to you, and I'm going to start changing that right now by telling you about the grim, grisly truth about your own mortality. What? Today on Cool Mom. <laughs> cool Mom. I've always had trouble accepting that one day I'm gonna die. It's actually one of my biggest fears, dying. I'm not that afraid of it. Like, I feel like once I'm dead- I don't get it. How can you not be afraid of it? What if there's nothing afterward? There might That's be. That's what I'm most scared of, it's just like- <laughs> I wouldn't mind it because sometimes when people wake me up from a nap, I'm like, oh, just kill me already. <laughs> no, it's more so that I just, I'm so important and I can't imagine the world without me. <laughs> I feel like your legacy as a performer and as season five champion of RuPaul Drag Race. You're gonna live forever in the minds and hearts of drag No, but fans. I wanna live forever for real. But like, not just in the minds and hearts of my loved ones, because that sounds like a <laughs> deal for me. No, I truly believed that, ever since I was a child, I believed one day I'd just meet a vampire who'd freeze me dead in my tracks and keep me alive for the rest of eternity. What about all the Easy. negatives? You couldn't eat garlic anymore? Some of these might just be um, stereotypes, old wives tales. We don't know the truth about vamps. What was your first experience with death? Were you a kid? Yes, my great grandfather passed away when I was a small child. And my mom wouldn't let me go to the funeral because she said um, that I, I was too young to comprehend it. So then I asked her to explain it to me and she explained the concept of a soul to me. I'm sitting in the car with her, and I remember it like it was yesterday. I say, Mom, I kind of think our souls are like a big glowing crystal that's inside of us. And she said, Do you know how stupid that sounds? That's ridiculous. Where would that be? That's not what a, what a soul is. Do you even think before you talk? She wasn't a nice, kind, loving, understanding mother like I am. She wasn't a cool mom. She was not a cool mom. She's also still alive. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Mom. I think one thing I want to do before I die is um, rule an empire. Wait, what? But if I had like a multi-international, um, super conglomerate business, Wait, what? and I was in charge of everything, and I got to storm around. Oh, the okay, tower. so it's like Dynasty or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, listen, people, I've been pulling this company through the mud with me from the very beginnings of... You know, and I give up an impassioned speech, and then also I have powers like a witch. And then also <laughs> I never age. Business witch. This is a good sitcom for you. Business witch. <laughs> oh dear, these third quarter financials are looking terrible. I need someone who can balance the trade deficit with China and also brew me a love potion so I can find me a wife. Well, <laughs> you're in luck, ass. Because I'm not a regular witch. I'm a business witch. Business witch is taped in front of a completely fake audience. Uh, the stocks are way down this season. Is there anything you could do about that? 
Well, I don't know about you, but I haven't seen numbers this low since I lost many of my friends in a massacre called the Salem Witch Trial. I'll have a look at it. <laughs> How do you feel about these numbers that you're seeing? It's corn season, isn't it? That means the red sun will be rising in its fullest capacity. I'm sure by tomorrow I can pull these numbers around. Cut to me like stabbing a goat. <laughs> Hecate! 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 The stocks went up. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Business Witch, uh, I understand that you did a blood ritual last night um, during the blood moon, and that's actually, it qualifies as insider trading. So I think that I'm gonna need to report you to the Federal Finance Commission. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am the insider trader. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> cool, Mom. If being immortal ends up not being an option for whatever weird reason, then I want to live to be really, really old. So all my hair is just like a long silver braid wrapped around my head multiple times, and I wear nothing but flowy black robes everywhere I go, and then I've got a silver cane that I lean on, and um, I always wear sunglasses, and I can see into the future, and um, I'm really old, so I can do whatever I want. I answer to nobody. And then um, and then I want to die like burning up uh, upon the entry into space. Oh. Like just disintegrate, and then you'll all breathe me in. I'll be inside <laughs> each and every one of you. Do you like really you. think you're, you're gonna outlive me? Oh, I'm not gonna do it at you. I mean, no, do you for... think you're going to outlive me? Yes. Do you honestly think you're gonna live longer than me? One thousand <laughs> percent. What makes you think that? Because I mildly take care of myself. I'm gonna live the longer smallest than you ways. out of spite. And you, you are I very... take care of myself. I sleep. I eat. I hydrate. Red Bull have... is not hydration. It's dehydrating you. There's water in it. No, there's not. It's got to be an ingredient in there. <laughs> oh How did God. it get so liquidy? It doesn't have the same. The ice melts. Cool, mom. Ooh, would you rather be a zombie than a uh, just regular dead body? Even if like your whole brain isn't working, just the no. No, I don't. I'd rather be a ghost than a zombie. What if I'd you... rather be a vampire than a ghost. Yeah, and I'd rank rather em. be a witch that could um, transfer my essence into new hosts than any of that. In that scale, where is Frankenstein Jinx, where they take out your brain and put it in a like big guy? It's low down there because oh, can you just imagine me, my mannerisms in a big old bulky <laughs> corpse body? <laughs> oh, come on in, and I'm just like, what would that even look like? Um. If I die before I get the chance to say this to you, you are not actually my son. What? <laughs> you were born of a jackal. Wait, what? A jackal? A jackal. There's a birthmark behind your ear that will explain everything. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my, my God! Best to protect you. No. But who will bring the end of day? Sorry. You should have known, though. I mean, you're kind of a little pervert. Cool, Mom! Really beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of a loud, 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 loud person. Jinx Monsoon was roughly 400 years old um, when she was killed by a rhino um, at the Woodland Park Zoo. But she will live on in our hearts and memories, and we will put all of the things that she loves in her coffin. We'll put several flavors of But pockets. wait a minute! <laughs> I'm not dead! I was just pretending! I got you all to believe it because I'm such a good actor! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a business witch.